Hello, everybody. How is everybody? So, as you know, the New England Patriots are big fat cheaters. Which is fun. But they misinterpreted the rules, according to Cartman. So they got caught in the deflate gate stand scandal, which me which is where they got caught deflating the balls in the AFC championship game last year, allowing them to win the game, and they went on to win the Super Bowl. Now, according to the investigation, they have done this before. So instead of doing something logical and normal, like, I don't know, strip the fucking Super Bowl championship like a normal fucking person would because they don't need the fucking championship because they cheat to get the fucking title. They don't need the fucking title because you fucking can't cheat to get a fucking title. They just let him keep the fucking title. Like, ooh, you got a title, but you cheated. Ooh, fancy, fancy, you get keep title. Fucking morons. Yeah, they slapped him on the fucking wrist. They barely fucking punished him. It's like a kid steals a candy bar from the grocery store. You're like, fine, you can only eat three-fourths of the candy bar. No, you let him eat the fucking candy bar, but you go, fine... Um, we're only going to let you have three quarters for your allowance instead of four. What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? And that's exactly what this is. It's fucking bullshit. Here's their... Okay, their punishment next year is th they figured out Brady was in on it. Which, of course, fucking Brady was in on it. The ball's were deflated. He's the fucking quarterback. He's touching it constantly. He knows it's deflated. He could have said, wait, referee, these balls are deflated. We need to inflate them. I don't know why he's speaking like someone from the 1800s. Um, I don't know, but... No, he cheated. And he probably told Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick's like, fuck you, go out there and throw the damn ball, you fucking moron. You went to Michigan. You can't add one plus one. Go throw the damn ball. Um, you know, if this would have happened in England, and it would have happened for soccer, something similar, there would be fucking riots in whatever town lost that game. There would be fucking riots. And I think Indianapolis lost the game. And there's not riots in Indianapolis. Indianapolis is pissed, but there aren't riots. There would be riots in the team that lost the Super Bowl. Uh, there aren't riots. No one fucking cares, it seems. The biggest sport in our country. You guys tell me, no, it's not fake. No, it's not fake. I'm an idiot. Yet, if this happened in England for soccer... Their biggest sport, compared to our biggest sport, which is football, there would be fucking riots. We don't have fucking riots. We have idiots who, half of you defend them and say, oh, it's okay, they won the Super Bowl fair and square. And half of you are like, they're being punished. But anyways, back to their punishment. Brady is suspended for four games. Four games without pay. You are taking away millions of dollars from a millionaire who could retire today, sit on his ass, and gain weight for the next 40 years and do nothing and would never have to lift another finger because he's fucking Tom Brady. And he's got millions and millions and millions of dollars. Because he makes 30 fucking million of dollars a year, that's his only punishment. Four games. Four games. Pete Rose gambled a little tiny bit. They could never prove he gambled on a baseball team he managed or a game he was in. And he got kicked out of baseball. This guy openly cheated to win. And he gets suspended four games. 
the 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 Patriots team gets fined a million dollars. This is a billion dollar sports team won a championship because of the che this cheating. They won a championship because of cheating. Made billions of dollars. It's a billion dollar franchise. They could find a million dollars. Literally. They're, they're, the team could take that million dollars and go here. It would be like me taking a dollar and lighting it on fire. I could take a dollar and light it on fire and be like, oh, it's just a dollar. They could do that with a million and be like, fuck it, it's a million dollars. We don't care. It's a fucking million dollars. What the fuck's a million dollars to us? It would be like finding Bill Gates a million dollars. What the fuck's a million dollars to Bill Gates? That's what that's what finding this team's a million dollars is like. It's what the fuck's a million dollars to a multi-billion dollar team. And then you took away a first round draft pick next year. And a fourth round draft pick in 2017. Two draft picks. Not even two first rounds. Uh, one first round and one fourth round. In two different years. And money that has no fucking effect on them whatsoever. Literally, they could... They, I'm trying to think what the team spends the equivalent of a million dollars on. And literally, I can't fucking think of anything. Maybe urinal cakes. They have to skip out urinal cakes for two weeks in in the fucking stadium. They're like, our fine is equal to two weeks worth of the price of urinal cakes. What? That's the fucking fine what it's worth. It is fucking ridiculous. You want to find these people, find these people. You want to punish these people, punish these people. You want to just be like, oh, it's okay. You cheated. That's fine. You can cheat all you want. Then let them cheat all they want. If you want to punish them, let's punish them. Tom Brady suspended next season, whole season, without pay. Let him lose 30 fucking million dollars. The team, let's, let's find them a decent fine, like 30 fucking million dollars. Um, draft picks. Let's just yank some, like uh, a first round, a third round, and a fifth round next year, and then the year after the same. So thirty million dollars. They lose six draft picks, two first rounds, two third rounds, two fifth rounds. Uh, Bill Belichick suspended for s six months next year, or for half the season next year. And, oh, and from now on, they can no longer suspend their, they can no longer provide their own balls for their offense. The opposing team has to provide them, so it can't happen again. That's a punishment. That's a punishment. Not, oh, we're going to find you something you can easily pay us. And take away things you don't really need. Oh, uh, but w we hope this teaches you a lesson. Because if it doesn't, if it doesn't, we know you'll cheat again and win another Super Bowl. Because you're the Patriots and that's what you do. So fuck you, Goodell. Fuck you, football. This is why football is fake. This is why football is bullshit. And this is why I don't fucking watch sports.